So underneath your task, you'll notice always there's a beginning curly bracket. That starts the code. And so right underneath task main, write yourself a curly bracket. So what is a curly bracket? I'm going to draw it a little bit bigger to make sure you can see what I drew. You don't have to draw this, but I'm going to draw it off to the side. So it's just a loop, a little pointy part, another loop, a little curly brace or curly bracket. This starts our code. Now, what is the first thing we were told to do in our task description? What's the first thing that needs to be done? The motor has to be on to turn it off, right? So in the beginning of code, we're going to say start motor, lowercase s, start capital M motor, no spaces. Hopefully it's obvious why we capitalize the second letter or second word, first letter, second word. Adding spaces can make it kind of weird in the code. Is there one space? Is there two spaces? You, or at least you can think of it like that. This way you can tell when the second and third words start. So start motor. We have to clarify what motor we want to start. I'm going to open a parenthesis again, no space. Let's go ahead and do the right motor. Lowercase r, right. Second word, capital M, motor. And we have to tell our computer, we got to tell the robot what speed we want the motor to go. So what was the range of values your motor could go? Negative 127 to 0, 0 to 127. I'm going to tell it to go half speed. So that would be comma 63. I'm going to close my parentheses and write a semicolon. The semicolon tells me it's the end of the line, the end of the single command. So what this says is turn on a motor, which motor? The right motor, at what speed? 63. And that's how you'd write it. If you want it to go faster, you type in a bigger number. If you want it to be a different motor, you type in a different motor. Let me go to the next line. What tells it to turn off? Switch. I'm going to tell it to be the bump switch. The way it's written in code is until we were using until statement, lowercase u, capital T, until touch, and I'm going to have it be the bump switch. So we say until touch, open parentheses, we got to label what switch we have to hit. Lowercase b, bump, uppercase s, switch. Now, you are either touching the bump switch or you are not, yes or no, on or off. I don't need to label any kind of designation. If I touch it, it's on. If I'm not, it's not. So I don't have to write a comma or a zero or a one or anything. I just close the parentheses and write a semicolon. What happens when we touch the first switch? Turns off the motor. That is written as stop motor. No spaces, capitalize the M. And of course, that makes sense. Start motor turns it on. Stop motor turns it off. That's it. As you're working in activity two and activity three, this will become incredibly obvious how to write this or how to write these commands. And then what motor do we want to stop? Right motor. So open your parentheses, lowercase right, uppercase motor, or M in motor, I should say. Do I need a speed? No. Close your parentheses, write a semicolon to end the commands. Then what? We turn on an LED how? with a different switch. So I'm gonna say, after this line, wait until, until touch again, but I'm gonna label the other switch. So parentheses, limit switch. Make sure you capitalize the second, or the first letter of the second word every time. So that's uppercase T and uppercase S for switch. Close your parentheses and add a semicolon. And once we hit that limit switch, what do we do? Turn on the LED, and that's literally how it's written. Lowercase t, turn. LED is all caps. Turn LED on, uppercase O. Again, no spaces. I apologize if my D and O look a little similar. Turn LED on, and we have to designate what the LED is. What is a standard LED? Green. If you put in a red LED and you wrote red, I wouldn't get mad at you as long as you know you're using red. And then add that semicolon. And how long? Five seconds. Now, everybody put your, everybody put your pencils down. This is probably the most complicated part of the code right here. This is really hard to translate, so I want you to watch 
and look how I do it, and then copy down in the second, all right? So to tell it to wait five seconds, this is what you write. Does anybody need me to demonstrate that again? All right, go ahead and catch up with me. When you write wait and then a time, that's what it'll do. It will not go to the next line until that timer has gone off. As soon as the LED turns on, a timer would start. And as soon as that timer ends, it would go to the next line. What is the last line of code we want to write? Turn LED off. So for turn LED off, it's a lot like start and stop motor. They're the exact same things. The only thing about turn LED off, the only thing different is instead of an N, they write two Fs. So lowercase T, turn, LED is in all caps, capital O, F, F. Turn LED off, parentheses, green, one word, so no caps, closure, parentheses, and write a semicolon. And then we have to end the code with a nether curly bracket facing the other way. Now, what about pseudocode? What does this first line actually say? It's just a bracket. What does it say? Start the program. So look, guys, pencils down, watch this, and this time I'm serious. Before we used dash star to turn on multi-line pseudocode. To turn on single line pseudocode, you use two forward slashes. What this says is everything after these two symbols will be pseudocode on this line only. If I were to write dash star, it would turn off everything after it, including every other line. Make sense? But I write these two dashes and I write the code. Oops, this one is for start motor, write motor. I went to the wrong line, but that's fine. For this line, what does that say? Motor is on. That's it. That's all it says in English. I'm not looking for MLA format. I'm not looking for an essay. I'm just looking for you understand what that line of code says translated to English. So what does this one say? Program starts. And then until touch bump switch. What does this actually say? Bump the bump switch or touch the bump switch. I'm just going to say bump the switch. And then stop motor. What does that do? Yeah, motor turns off. Now, I'm not going to make you translate every single one. I will when you're working in robot C. But typing it, I find, is a little bit faster than handwriting it. I just wanted you all to get an idea. So let's do one more together. Let's translate wait five. Let's write pseudocode for wait five. Stays on for five seconds and then go ahead and tape this in I don't really care how you tape it in just don't break the rules of notebook keeping you notice I taped it in like this at the very bottom so it's uh, foldable but you can do it floppy or however it fits in your notebook